your music and you can't help but want to move. Mm -mm. And you used to have some signature moves back in the day. How you come up with those, uh, those well, moves? A lot of those moves were born on stage. So, you know, uh, I, I always tell the story. Um, when I started, um, I ended up being the lead singer. I was supposed to be the drummer. Yeah. And I said, I don't know how to be out in front of a band. So Prince was like, uh, I said, I don't know what to do. He said, well, be cool. Be cool. <laughs> well, what's I, that mean? Just, right. So he said, keep your hand in your pocket and be cool. So <laughs> That's tight. Yeah. That's, That's my move when I try to take a picture. <laughs> no, but check it out. So the first video, cool, if you, you look at that video, my right hand never comes out of my pocket. <laughs> right. I didn't know what else to do, so I was just primping, you know, and doing that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love on stage when the guy comes out with the mirror and jungle yeah. love. That's the greatest move yeah. of all time. If yeah. you hear this music, if you're out at a wedding, at a club, anywhere, if like jungle love comes on, will you get up and hit the dance floor? Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. No. Now, now, back in the day, the, um, the, the, the original Morris Day, back in the day, I, there was no off switch. Right. right. But... Over the years, I've learned to hit the off switch. <laughs> okay. So a lot of people see me, they see me out in public, and they're like, dude, why are you so laid back? I said, because I hit the off switch. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know when to turn it on. It's hard to stay on all Yeah, time, you got to huh? conserve energy. Yeah, yeah. We exactly. say you got to pay for that off switch. You, <laughs> you got to pay for it. There you go. It's really a dollar sign switch. <laughs> <laughs> Let, well, let's, let's take it back a little bit because uh, you uh, and Prince are both from Minneapolis. Right. As, 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 did you meet there? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We, uh, I'm from Springfield, Illinois, and um, we were moving from Springfield, supposed to be coming out to California. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We stopped in Minneapolis to visit a sick aunt and ended up there for the next 20 years. Wow. Oh, and I wasn't too happy about that, but <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> I was looking for, you know, but as time would reveal it, you know, pun intended, um, a lot of great things happen in Minneapolis. Hang on, yeah. we have the sick aunt, I hope she's okay, to thank for you getting together with Prince and the time and everything. And I thought she was like on her deathbed, she just had a cold or something. <laughs> You know, I would have sent story. some Advil or something, <laughs> right. yeah, like cold and sinus, What's you know. What's your name? Uh, Regina. Regina. Regina, we Regina. have today. Thank you, Aunt Regina. Aunt Regina. Yeah. Well, we've yeah, heard yeah. this story that y'all met in the cafeteria. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. That some people might think that y'all were grabbing lunch, you know, as eighth graders or something. Or it, it was after hours. It was a dance in the cafeteria. And um, I guess the story goes, uh, I was going there to see Prince and the band play, but, you know, I was really going there to meet a girl. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I ended up, and I didn't really meet Prince that night. I met Andre Simone, the bass player. Okay. okay. And Andre and I hit it off. But I, first of all, I saw these guys and they were so amazing. You know, they were playing like 21 year olds and they were like 13, wow. 14 years old. Prince was ripping like uh, Carlos Santana solos. Yeah. And, wow. and, you know, he was just ripping it up. So um, I said, I gotta, I gotta be a part of this. So I kind of stalked him, you know, a little bit. And I got to know Andre, the bass player. And uh, he and I skipped school a time or two and he came over to my house and I had my drum set up in my bedroom. And I had this big speaker behind my drums, and I started playing some Tower of Power, my favorite drummer, yeah. Dave Garibaldi. Yeah. Yeah. I was hitting some soul vaccinations, some mm -hmm. okay. hip. I, you know, I put my sticks down, I finished. Andre's sitting there, his eyes stretch, he's looking at me. I'm like, what's up, man? And he said, dude, I didn't know you could play like that. You know, um, and so they invited me to audition. I set up my drums, and they never left. And that, was it, right. no. that was it. That was it. But from there, it took about two or three weeks before Prince would really even say anything. He was just always looking at me from the shadows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mysterious, he'd be in the cut looking at me. You saw from the shadows. Yeah, I'm like, what's this dude looking at, man? <laughs> I was like, why don't you say something? I'm studying you. Hey. Well, well, cut to one of the most iconic like rock films, really, with Purple Rain. You ended up being his rival yeah. in there. Uh, That's and one of the greatest selling yeah. soundtracks of all time. Well, one of the best. anniversary Thank coming up. That's right, yeah, the yeah. anniversary is coming yes. up. We're gonna talk about this, we're gonna years. get this. 35 years. Tonight at the uh, Chinese Man's Theater, we're gonna show the movie, I'm gonna do question and answers, Q&A, I guess oh, they call awesome. it. Oh, that's awesome. And, uh, you know, do some book signing. Yeah. yeah. What do you remember about the movie? Because the story I read was that you didn't think it was really gonna be made. You're like, Prince, come on. Well, think about it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we're in right. Minneapolis, you know, we, uh, we, we had our first record, so I'd seen a little success, but he's like, we're going to do a movie. I'm like, okay, whatever. I ain't never done a movie before, right. you know, so uh, I said, 
cool. Next What's thing your I know, in your pocket. Yeah, well, no, I was out the pocket by then. <laughs> yeah. I had some moves by then, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, I said okay, you know, whatever. And um, I just, I don't think I ever really took it serious. Even though I had some good scenes, right. you know, but I was still not like I'm, I was just, you know. Next thing I know, we're taking acting classes, dancing classes, right. and all this stuff, you know. And um, I'm doing uh, jetés and cliés. Oh and, dang! And, uh, Kicking it with Apollonia. Uh, yeah, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. For that. Right. Want to make sure we get to this though, yeah. the book. Yes, which absolutely. really encompasses everything, right? Yes, yes. All of this is in the book. So please <laughs> pick up buy the book. The book. <laughs> <laughs> We got to it. It's okay. Amazon Prime. It'd be at your doorway tonight. But it's kind of a, not an argument. It's a conversation, really, between you and Prince. Yes, uh, but your producer told me it sounded like an argument to her. Oh. So <laughs> I was like, uh, that's a different way of looking at it because we are going back and forth for sure, mm -hmm. you know? So you're well, rivals, yeah, so you're playing yeah. it up. That's yeah, good. yeah, we're rivals, but not really. I mean, yeah. we were friends Friendly first, rivals. but th the story I like to tell is uh, when he put the band together, he didn't realize what he had done. Mm. You know, he created the Frankenstein monster, yep. mm -hmm. you know, and so we started to, you know, um, outdo him a little bit uh -oh. in certain cities. So before I knew, we weren't allowed to be on the show in L.A., no. Chicago, New York, Atlanta, all the major cities. Uh -oh. We had to, you know, go do our own thing. Take it down or not. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. They're all like, right. you're in Tampa, Florida. Yeah, right, right. right. See you yeah, 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 I'm, I'm in L.A. Way. and just <laughs> borrowed yeah. this. And uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. thank you, Mr. Morris Day. Morris Day! Is that it? 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 If y'all are in the L.A. area, there is a 35th anniversary screening of Purple Rain and a book signing in Hollywood tonight at 6.30. Do not miss it. Yes. And he's got some new music with Snoop that you'll have to come back so we oh, can yeah. talk about. We'll talk about that next time. Come on, time. Uncle Snoop. Yeah. All right, there. Yeah.